guys, welcome back to this week's video. My name is Matt Thrift and I'm gonna be doing another sneaker review for you guys today. I'm super excited for this one. I think it's gonna be an awesome one. It's actually one of my favorite shoes that I've picked up this year that I've, that I've had the ability to get a hold of this year, um, which kind of even surprised me. It wasn't one I was thinking was gonna blow me away. I, I, I was excited for it, but it certainly wasn't anything that I thought was gonna be earth shattering. And I, I actually really, really enjoy this shoe. So before we get started, before we jump into it today, I was going to give you guys uh, just a second. I was going to show you actually what I'm wearing on my feet today, which is the shoes that I reviewed last week. I've been wearing these Nike Court Lows. Uh, last week we did a video where we kind of compared the Nike Court Low to an Air Force One since they're very similar silhouettes, very similar shoes in many ways, but these have a little bit less of a price tag. Um, that was our video last week. I've actually been wearing them almost every day for the past week or so. And, and I actually can say where uh, I reviewed them in that video and said that maybe they're not as comfortable as the Air Force One. I actually do have to say after breaking them in, they're a lot more comfortable. Still not Air Force One comfortable, but they are a more comfortable shoe than I originally thought they were when I first reviewed them last week. So today, to, to not hold you guys up any longer, we're gonna jump into this review, which is, boom, another Nike, another Nike box. Y'all have seen this before. This is the Nike Flight Legacy. You can see it right there, size 13 in my size. Uh, and and I, I got these shoes as a gift from uh, my sister-in-law. <laughs> they gave it to me and I was super excited for them. Honestly, just because of a look, I'm, I'm a fan of the Jordan 3, Jordan 4, um, and I think these shoes look a lot like the Jordan 4, um, but we're going to jump into them. I've actually worn them. I just kind of put them back in this box for, for effect for you guys, but I've worn them a couple times now. You can see a little bit of creasing and such on them, but these are beautiful shoes. I've got them in the Lakers colorway purple and yellow purple and gold however you want to go at it we've got the the air nike air branding on the back here which i think is amazing and i actually love the swoosh on these shoes is very similar to how it is on the air force one where it goes all the way around but i actually like that it's smaller and up in this top part i think it just gives it an interesting look um something different from what i'm used to and these shoes i've got to tell you the looks I was impressed by, the quality I've been very impressed by. I've worn them about three times now, and uh, I've been very impressed with the quality. And more than any of that, as, as many of you probably know if you own any Nike Air shoes, the fit is incredible. I'm actually really, really happy. I know there are some people that would agree with that and some people that disagree with that, but personally, as a fan of the Nike Air technology, I think these shoes are incredibly comfortable myself. Let me get this box out of the way here for us today. But these shoes, as, as I said, I've got a couple of scuff marks and stuff on them, but I just looking at them, taking a quick look, you've got, like I already pointed out, that Nike Air branding in the back. You've got a visible Nike Air bubble. You can see your, your Air technology in there. Um, it's pretty typical, straightforward shoe other than that. There's not a whole lot to say about it. I really appreciate the color blocking here on the lower portion. Um, not a whole lot going on on the bottom of the shoe, but that's not really where anybody's looking anyway, so it doesn't particularly matter. But these shoes are interesting to me because they're kind of a remake, an updated version of the Nike Air Flight um, 89, I believe. And, and that was kind of, they were, I guess the Nike Air Flight Lows is what they called them. They came out in 1989. And these shoes are kind of an updated version. They're a little bit different. The swoosh is different, like I kind of pointed out. A um, couple other details, they're a little bit taller in reality than those, because those were technically lows, I, even though I feel like they were for sure at least a mid. Um, but these are a little different, but overall, if you were to look at those, look at these, look at a Jordan 4, you're looking at a lot of the same specs, a lot of the same stuff is going into these shoes. Now, clearly, these shoes do not have the price tag that a Jordan 4 has, or any Jordan has for that matter. And I would say they don't even have the price tag that the 89s had. And these are a much more comfortable shoe, a much better shoe all the way around 
than the 89s in my own opinion and uh, maybe maybe you would disagree with that but I have that's my opinion that's my hot take on this shoe so overall to give you uh, some information on this shoe I think it's an amazing pickup I'm super super happy with it as as kind of is my passion for making these YouTube videos it's to review some shoes that maybe other youtubers aren't really taking the time to review because understandably um they're reviewing the j balvin ones and they're reviewing the dior ones and they're reviewing those shoes and those are not shoes that i myself or most people i think on the internet actually have the capability to get a hold of so when i search for a review of this shoe trying to see if i could get this um i've always hoped that there was a pretty good review out there for this so if you are considering getting these shoes i would say even more so than any of the shoes i've talked about previously I would pick these shoes up. I know they come in multiple other colorways. There's um, a very similar to a Chicago colorway. It's all sold out on Nike's website, but I'm sure you can find it in some other third party places and even resellers. StockX, I'm sure, has got more than a couple pairs. There's a black with red on it. There's um, an all white pair that as someone who loves all white sneakers, I might have to pick up one of these days, the all white pair of these. They're not the most hype sneaker in the world. That is, I think, goes without saying, but I really enjoy this sneaker. And I picked them up. Uh, like I said, I got them as, as a present for Christmas, an early Christmas present this year. But I do know these shoes, I think they're sitting right about $65, $70 on Nike's website. And like I've already said, I'm sure you can find them other places, maybe even cheaper. Or if you're looking for a specific size or colorway that Nike doesn't have, maybe a couple extra bucks, but right around that $70 mark, which for a pair of shoes that fits as well as these, as as comfortable as these are, and as wonderful as a shoe, of a shoe as I truly think these are, um, I think it's well worth it. I think this is quite easily one of the most underrated shoes that I've tried on, which I know is a big statement, but I do think that these are a instant classic for me. I'm a big, big fan of this shoe. So I'm gonna cut to some footage that we've recorded for you guys of these shoes on feet. I hope you all enjoy that. If you've got anything that you'd like us to review, I think I'm gonna start doing um, maybe even some, some branching out into a little bit more of men's fashion and not just sneakers. If that's something you'd like to see or if there's a particular sneaker that's kind of on the budget side of things that you would love for me to check out and make a review on, I would love to do that. I know so far my reviews have been based mostly around Nike shoes and guilty as charged. I am a fan of Nike, but I promise you guys that we're going to be making more videos coming out very soon that are not just Nike. I'm actually really, really excited for some of these videos because some of the pickups I've had recently really shocked me um, as, as a huge fan of Nike who, who, if I'm totally honest, I had a pretty low um, opinion of some of the other shoes that I've tried on out there, some other brands, and, and uh, I've been pleasantly surprised in many ways recently and i'm looking forward to making some more videos on those shoes in the coming weeks so if you haven't subscribed already i would greatly ask you to go ahead and do that if you found this video helpful to you in any way shape or form or if you're just someone who loves sneakers and you're interested on in trying to learn more about being a sneakerhead on a budget because i'm right there with you my friend please give this video a like please subscribe to this account i'm hoping to make videos like this weekly and if you guys have any other topics that you would love for me to talk about or other shoes like i said that you would like me to review please leave that in the comments below i appreciate you guys we're gonna cut to this video right now